Hi friends, you are gonna love this video today. So if you looked at the Extreme Beginner Tunisian video last week, um, you're ready for something more advanced and here it is for you. So I have got this feather and fan style Tunisian stitch and I think when I make it a full project, I'm gonna do three repeats so that it's wider, but this is one repeat, it's 14 stitches. I'll make it wider, I'll make it three, then I'm gonna turn it on its side and make it a tube and stitch and sew the bottom to the top to make a cowl. Won't that be gorgeous? So, so pretty. So, okay, here's how to do it. We are going to do a multiple of 14 stitches plus one. So 14 stitches and 14 stitches plus one more. I have chained 29 and I've pulled up one loop in each stitch. So there was 29 and I did the traditional return pass. Yarn over and pull through one, yarn over and pull through two, all the way across. If you need help with that part, please go watch the Extreme Beginner video. Okay, so we're on row one of our pattern. We have our foundation row. And stay tuned because I'm going to have you screenshot the instructions here if you would like to see that at some point. So we are going to, to start with the Tunisian stitch that's on the hook already. We're going to full stitch. So full stitch is when you put it in between in the gap between the first stitch and the second stitch. So I'm going to Tunisian full. Okay, now I'm going to Tunisian simple in each of the next five vertical bars. One, two, I'm also going to teach you how I count stitches. Three, when I'm tech editing. Four, and five, and we're gonna change colors too. <laughs> so a lot is hanging in there. So hang in there with us, a lot of good lessons today. Now we're gonna Tunisian stitch, simple stitch three together. So each of the next three vertical bars, I'm gonna go through as if to Tunisian simple stitch all at one time. So we are now decreasing. So we are decreasing these three stitches now become one stitch, pulling up a bar, okay? So Tunisian simple stitch in each of the next five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we are now going to full stitch. So figure out where those vertical bars of the current stitch plus the next stitch. So we're gonna go in that gap there in between. So full stitch. And then Tunisian simple and then full stitch so we're making the apex or the peak of the little rick rack or zigzag or whatever you call it and now we're going to Tunisian simple in each of the next five one two three four five it is time for a Tunisian three together again so Isolate the three vertical bars and going through all of them at the same time as if to Tunisian simple stitch. Grab three of the next vertical bars and pull up one loop. Okay. And then TSS and five, Tunisian simple stitch one, two, three, four, and five. Don't forget to do a full stitch here between this current stitch and the next stitch, and then Tunisian simple stitch in the final stitch. So now it's time to check our work, and you should have the same number of loops on the hook that you started out with chains. So there would be 29 in this case for two repeats. So three repeats would have 14 times three plus one, and four uh, repeats would have 14 times four plus one. Five repeats would have five times 14 plus one. Got it? Okay. So the return pass is a yarn over and pull through one. We're gonna change color on this row, so hang in there. Then yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. You will not see this exaggerated zigzag right away. It does take a few rows to develop and to pull up, but we might start really seeing it. So look how wide it is compared to the um, previous swatch, because it's gonna really pull together. And so be aware, depending on how many multiples 
you want for your project, it is really going to shrink width wise as we pull the stitches together to make the zigzag, chevron, rickrack, <laughs> whatever kind of pattern you want to call it. So this Tunisian zigzag is kind of like a um, knit feather and fan. Okay, so as we get done with this second row with the yarn over and pull through, we're going to go ahead and grab another color and just change color just for the fun of it so you can see the, the change in color. So I'd love to see what you are going to do with your finished project. If you're going to do some 1980s inspired color scheme like this one, or if you have something else in mind. So I'm going to just hold the yarn in the back of the work and instead of yarning over and pulling through two, one more time with the green, I'm gonna yarn over and pull through two with the purple, okay? And then hold those little uh, cut tails or the working tail of the green in the back of the work. So now we have changed colors. If, you know, you could always just continue with the same color if you want. Okay, so Tunisian, so we have two, so if you're gonna write your stitches down, then you would write them down as we go right now. So we would start with a TSS, which is on the hook. Then we're going to, so if you want to screenshot this, screenshot this right now, okay? So we're going to start with a TSS on the hook. Then we're going to full stitch. So in between the first two stitches, right here. Now we're going to TSS in five. And when I have trouble with instructions, I will often write it vertically like this so that it's easier for me to see. And I apologize, left-handers, that this is backwards, I think, for you. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and if we're reading our stitches, the next thing is to do Tunisian simple stitch, three of them together. So if we're reading our stitches, we can see this one here between my thumbs is three pulled into one. So we're going to use that one plus either Tunisian simple stitch on either side of it. So those three are we're isolating to do the Tunisian simple stitch three together right there, decreasing. So when we decrease, we're making this little, um, this little part right here, the little points. That's where what the Tunisian simple stitch three together is creating. Okay, so then back on our instructions, um, TSS in five, so Tunisian simple stitch in five, each of the next five. One, two, three, four, five, and then don't um, hang in there with me because I'm gonna teach you how I count my stitches as if to tech edit. Okay, so after we've done our Tunisian for five, we're gonna full stitch. So full stitch in the gap there between stitches, then Tunisian simple stitch, then full stitch, then TSS in five. One, two, three, four, and five. Tunisian three together. Okay, so Tunisian simple stitch three together. Remember to catch that um, one that's directly above the three together before on the previous row plus one on either side of it. And then TSS Tunisian simple stitch in five. One, two, three, four and five. Don't forget to do the full stitch before we do the Tunisian simple stitch at the end. So squeeze a full stitch in between stitches and then don't forget to do the Tunisian simple stitch on the end. Okay and then we will yarn over and, re and pull back, yarn over and pull through one and yarn over and pull through two all the way across. Yarn over and pull through two. And then after this pullback, we'll go ahead and count our stitches as if I were doing a, a tech edit. And then I'll teach you how to bind it off. And then you'll have everything you need to know after those pieces so that you can make your own 80s inspired chevron um, cowl, Tunisian cowl. So much fun.
I hope you are having a relaxing and valuable use of your time. I just love crochet for lots of reasons. I think I might even try and do a TED Talk on it. What do you think? <laughs> okay, so if we yarn over and pull through all the way across until there's one loop on our hook, and I'm going to set this down. Now let's look at our tech edit here. So I wish I had a Sharpie or something, but I don't. It's okay. So I'm going to get um, pull this up and get it closer to you. Okay, so I know I need 29 stitches. 29 stitches is what I started out with. That was the number of chains. So I have my whole, let's see, all of this is in the frame, so that's good. So when I know that I need 29 stitches, and then I'm going to do an audit of my stitches, I'm going to count each stitch that's made in one repeat, in uh, one, it's in two repeats, one section of written instruction. So one, this counts as one stitch made, one. That's the Tunisian stitch that's on the hook. I make a full stitch, that's number two. Then I TSS in five, and I count five like this. So I've got one, two, and then stitches are numbered three, four, five, six, seven. This makes one stitch, so that makes eight. Then nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. This makes one stitch, so that's 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. That makes five more, 28, 29. Okay, so all 29 stitches are accounted for and it matches, so we are good to go. This is the complete pattern <laughs> for two repeats. Okay, so putting that aside, I hope that helps you understand that a little bit more. So let's talk about the bind off, okay? So continue and have fun with your colors as much as you want, and then when we get to the top of the piece, to bind off when you have decided that it is as, um, long as you need it to be for so a cowl this is going to go around the neck like this so when it is as long as you want or you could make it a scarf when it is as long as you want or you can make it a baby blanket when it is as tall as you want it's time to bind off so binding off in pattern we are going to tunisian full we've already got the tunisian simple on the hook tunisian full but slip stitch it then Tunisian slip stitch in this in the TSS in the Tunisian simple, Tunisian simple with a slip stitch, Tunisian simple with a slip stitch. Okay, and we'll do that five times just like the pattern tells us to. And then when we get to the Tunisian three simple stitch three together, we will go ahead and grab all of those one, two, three and slip stitch through all of those together to maintain the integrity of the pattern. And then Tunisian simple one, two, three, and so on. Okay, and so just a lesson, just a little warning here about this pattern. I actually kind of got lost in the middle at one point and made a mistake on the green row and I had to take it out like four times. But luckily it's a very visual pattern, which means when you make a mistake, you can see it really easily. The bad part is you can see it really easily. So I had to go back and fix it. And with the chevron pattern, I feel like if you get off track, it, it you really can see it jog and be off. So every, every couple inches, make sure that you are right on track and everything is lining up neatly. Here's the three togethers. Here's the, um, the folds and then uh, the Tunisian simple and the full. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. So geometric. Love it, love it. So anyway, every several rows, just take an account and inventory and make sure you are good to go so that you don't have to rip back a ton of rows. If necessary, you can just rip back what you need and get it all set up. So if you liked this video, here's another one that's similar that you might also enjoy. And here is the video, the last video that was up uploaded in case you missed it. Everyone, please like and subscribe. <laughs>